I have a problem. Well, I've actually got two problems today. First of all, leaves. I don't think I quite realized when I undertook the task of building this ginormous Omega Tree of Doom just how many leaves I'm going to need in order to finish this project. I'm not joking when I say that the leaves that you see around here is three plus this Schalke boxes full of oak leaves. I mean, that, that's ridiculous. That's a lot of leaves to collect. Luckily for me, so far I've only collected well, like 10 stacks manually. The rest, <laughs> the rest I've traded with Mumbo, which, which has been of great help. That's problem number one. Problem number two, as you can probably hear, I have a very noisy keyboard today. <laughs> the noisiness is one thing of this keyboard. The other thing is that that it's it's a very uncomfortable keyboard. It's an old keyboard that I found in my wardrobe. And the reason I'm using it is because a couple of months ago, my Logitech keyboard that I've been using for the past two years finally gave in. And I've ordered a new one, but delivery times are very, very long at the moment. So, yeah, th this is what I'm stuck with at the moment. But back to the leaf problem. I actually saw a really funny suggestion for how to get around collecting the trees down in my comment fields. And I think it was quite a few people that actually suggested this. But the suggestion was to grow an oak sapling underneath like this. And this is the first time I tried this. And then... <laughs> And then I suppose chop down the log in the middle. Now, are these leaves going to despawn? Or because they're hitting that wood over there, they're probably stuck there. That is a pretty... I mean, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> but that is a pretty clever way of doing it, actually. You know what? This may actually be a viable way to deal with this. So then I grow another oak tree there. It looks hilarious. For some reason, it looks hilarious considering I'm building a mega tree. And then I'm just growing these tiny, tiny trees. Anyway, I grow another one over here, chop that down, and then continue to shape it. It's almost like, like I'm forming a sculpture doing it this way. And then I don't have to collect leaves. I, always, I also get double leaves when I do this. This is very, very smart. And look at that. I can't even tell that this here is leaves grown from an oak tree. That's amazing. Thank you for teaching me the ways of leafage. <laughs> Excuse me, I seem to I seem to have I seem to have a new friend in my tree. Hello? You're giving me anxiety, dude. You're so close to the ledge. I bet you wish you had an Elytra now. Here you go. No, 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 no way! Did he survive? Ex what? Did he survive that drop? He did! What in the world? Do they not take fall damage, these dudes? Impressive. This jungle doesn't stop to surprise me. Ocelots that survive mega drops. And then over here, I spotted something very weird. Look at this. <laughs> There's a cow. I swear, I have not put this cow in this cat. I have, hello? I have no idea how, how he's got there. You look a bit lost, sir. <laughs> not to mention Alan. Alan also doesn't stop to surprise me. How's the, how's the view, Alan, today? It's Woody. Now we're actually going to take a break from the tree and the leaves for now because I, I've heard a rumor. Rumor, you say? Yep, I've heard a rumor that there are some very rich hermits and that those hermits are probably willing to spend their diamonds. And this, this, <laughs> this is great for me because I need a lot of diamonds. As you all know, I mean, we are still, we're still ridiculously far off. I think someone did the math on when we were to reach the, that, that was, that was pretty impressive, by the way, when we were to reach the goal of 10,000 diamonds, if I continue with the pace I have at the moment, and that is by episode 15, having this much diamonds, it would take me 570 something episodes to reach to reach to what where's my sign <laughs> someone has taken down my sign i can't believe that who would do such a thing profit get ten thousand diamonds excuse me are you the sign thief you idiot i'm genuinely confused as to what happened to my side but i i guess i guess we'll have to leave that a mystery for now because like i said rumor has it that some hermits have a lot of diamonds and 
they're willing to spend them. So, I think it is time that we revisit the shopping district and do something with that plot that I invested in a few episodes back now. There she is, the puddle plot. Now, the idea for this shop is not your standard shop. I want to try and create something that's fun for the other hermits while being beneficial for them and, most importantly, making me lots and lots of diamonds. First things first though, I do want to change up the landscape around this just a little bit. I want to create the illusion that this here, my plot, is an actual island. So I need to remove, I need to, I need to remove this coast and connect it all up with this ocean. <laughs> this is random. This guy just comes walking up here and stops here. With a, with, with a, is that a gift? Is that, is that your, is that a present for me? He looks, he looks a bit dead. He looks a bit dead. Well, I'll take the gift. Kenny. Nice. So with the coast all cleared out, I want to create an island within my plot. Now, luckily, luckily this plot is actually quite big. I mean, it's 33 by 32 or something like that. I can't even remember, but I spent a lot of diamonds on this plot. I need a lot more sand for this to look good. HMS GGG. Good game, Grian. Oh, I can't believe this. He is completely sold out. Well, I guess we're mining sand. What are you doing in the desert? There's no grass to eat here. Oh my, this is a good one. Oh, that is, that is just... <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, skeleton. I'm, I'm sorry. Hello? Oh, wow. Okay. Ninja skeleton, eh? Well, hopefully this will be enough. I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, but this... This little shape has taken me about an hour to create. I have really struggled with this one. And it is looking super plain. It's literally just like just like a just like a pancake. <laughs> pancake of a pancake of sand. That being said, it is a start, and we now have a little bit of land to work on. Wow. Is that is a lot of bats just randomly popping out there must be there must be a big cave underneath here that is so weird now there are bats here as well <laughs> what is going on i'm a pro archer <laughs> that was an insane shot now for the next step of this project i need to gather up 64 shulker boxes and i need to color them i need to color them in various different nice looking colors luckily i did do that end bus so i think i have I think I have 64 shulker boxes spare. Yes, yes I do. As far as dice goes, I do have these three double bushes that I can multiply. I do have a bunch of lapai and I can make light blue. And we do have the popcorn machine. Nice. Well, this is probably going to take a while. So here's a picture of a cow. Okay, that was a little bit weird, but all the shulker boxes are done. So next I'm going to grab randomly 32 of these so that is a full inventory and then some no that's not some weird carpet <laughs> that is 32 shulka boxes right so next up i'm going to fill these 32 shulka boxes with random stuff and some with valuables speaking about valuables i'm going to collect up a few different things but one of the things that i'm going to be putting in some of these shulka boxes is gold so i've had over i've just head over to my gold farm and i realized i haven't actually been here for a while and i know that there are at least five hermits that have access to a golden ticket so oh my goodness yes it's working it's totally working people have been farming gold for me while getting xp themselves this this is brilliant. What's not as brilliant, though, is that my crafting table seems to be gone down here and my ender chest. Well, I got a new crafting table installed and I crafted up all of the gold. And look at this. I am... I'm really, really gold rich at the moment. Anyway, I've also collected up a bunch of other valuables that I want to use for this project. The idea is that all of these shulker boxes will be getting some items in them. For example, two stacks of stone or a fully enchanted elytra. Another good one, five shulker boxes inside a shulker box. The point is that I want to make it completely random. Some of them will have really good stuff in them and some of them will have less good things in them. All in all though, I'm going to be quite generous what's going to be inside these 32 boxes in general. So for example, I am putting a total of four elytras, enchanted and unenchanted, randomly in these boxes. One of them is going to contain a pair of super socks as well. Look at these boots. 
they're great. Two of them will also contain a full diamond block. And finally, one of them will be a super box. I mean, this is this is quite super, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't actually told you how much I'm charging for these boxes, nor how you obtain them. We'll get to that in a minute. Actually, we should also put Kenny in one of them. Nice. So now that these 32 Schalke boxes have valuables in them and I still have 32 Schalke boxes that doesn't have anything in them, I think it's time I explain what this shop is going to be and how it's going to work because it is it is going to be a shop. Now the idea is that this is my treasure island. And again, I understand that at the moment it's it's just a sand pancake. But uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to turn this into something that looks like a treasure island. You see, the idea that I have is that these Schalke boxes that we have colored in these different colors are actually going to be representing treasure gems. And so I want to build up, I, I guess, like a, like a pile of treasure gems. And then the hermits come in and they're not allowed to open them. They, are then, they, they then pay a price and then they mine them and that's how that's how they get a box and either it's empty in which case they've just got themselves a Schalke box or or they get one of these that has items in them and as far as pricing I'm thinking one diamond block one diamond block buys you one gem so worst case scenario you've bought a Schalke box in a cool color <laughs> for nine diamonds best case scenario you get, you get the Mega Jackpot box and you get a lot richer. Considering an Elytra at the moment costs 25 diamonds at the Elytra shop, unenchanted, and I've got two enchanted and two unenchanted in these boxes here, I think it's a pretty good price. I think that most of the boxes that have stuff in them are worth nine diamonds with the Schalke box included. Now there are two very important things that I need to consider. The first one is, is that the gem pile that we're going to construct needs to be somewhat random. It needs to be somewhat random of Schalke boxes that are empty versus Schalke boxes that have stuff in them. So I have mined out uh, some of the Schalke boxes here and then I've filled up my inventory with the, with some of the empty ones. And with that, I think I have got a good random assortment of Schalke boxes. I mean gems. We are not selling Schalke boxes here. We're selling gems. Now the second thing is, and this is a little bit more tricky, is that we don't want the hermits to be able to open the Schalke boxes. Because obviously, if you then accidentally open a Schalke box, you may know that you don't want it or you may know that you want it. So, I have a bit of an idea. And this, this is a weird one. And it's probably going to take quite a bit of time to do this, but if I build a gem pile from top to bottom, I could place the Schalke boxes upside down. <laughs> and, and if I place them, if I place them upside down, well, you're not going to be able to open them because you have to then grab them from the top, I guess, or you would like that's the natural way of grabbing them, I suppose. I guess you could, you could grab one in the middle and then grab the next one, but. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do, and then I'll have to also mention it in some rules or something like that to the other hermits. However, as I say, this is probably going to take a little bit of time to place down. <laughs> that is looking so strange already. <laughs> I didn't reach all the way down, so I'm just going to improvise. We're going to have a stone layer at the bottom of this thing. You know what? I'm actually quite happy with that, considering that I placed it from the top to the bottom. That does look... That does look like a gem pile, I think. Right, anyway, now it is time to turn this from a sand... Oh, wow, that is... <laughs> that is so strange. They don't render in, do they? Look at that. <laughs> anyway, it's time to turn this from a sand pancake into something that looks a little bit more like a treasure island. Oh, and I also thought... That it would be really, really cool if I have another sort of treasure pile here. And this is where this is where the hermits place the payment. The one diamond block. Because if I sell all of these, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have 64 diamond blocks here placed on top of this.
Now granted it's not the most complicated build ever, this is really starting to come together. I'm, I'm really really liking this and it's definitely no longer just a sand pancake which is, which is fantastic. Anyway, next up I need to add some form of instruction. Now when it comes to instructions for something like this, I've learned my lesson. I learned my lesson from last season, science is definitely the way to go, so I'm thinking Oh my goodness, this, this is confusing me. There, there, there. I'm thinking we'll have a wall all the way in the back here. That looks... Oh, that actually adds a little bit of color to the to the whole thing. We'll have a wall and then we'll have a bunch of signs. Iskal's Treasure Island. Pay one diamond block to mine a gem. Schalke box. These things... Some gems have treasures and some don't. Important, do not open a gem before mining it. I mean, it that's like super omega duper important. I hope, I hope hermits, <laughs> I hope the hermits understand that. Even though, even though you can't open them by default. But say that I would mine this one, I guess this one could be open. So we have that on a note. Hopefully everybody understands. You get to keep the gem and its contents. Good luck. And then what I've done is that I've added some examples of what you can get as a treasure. So, example of treasures to be found. Jackpot, diamonds, elytra, super gear, stone, redstone, wood, and rarities. To be honest, I forgot some of the stuff that I put in the boxes. But, like I said, I think... I think overall, if you do get something in them, most of them are going to be more valuable than the diamonds you pay. Which is really, really important. We'll put down an ender chest right here so that people can access their richities. And speaking about richities, there's one more thing that I want to do to this that I think that I think can bring in <laughs> even more customers. Call it marketing. I am going to have to borrow from myself, from my vault. I'm not going to spend these diamonds. Like I said, it's just it's just marketing. 14 is that going to be enough? Ah, let's let's make let's make seven more. Oh, vault, you look very empty once again. Hopefully, very soon though. Hopefully very soon you get you get to be joined by 64 plus these marketing diamond blocks of diamonds. That would be that would be the dream. So the idea is if I create a little bit of a diamond pile here, I'm hoping that people will sort of catch this as they fly around. I mean I, I know that I certainly would. If there's a pile of shiny diamonds just chilling. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Oh yes, that looks really, really cool. And then these render in as you get closer. Yeah, you know what that that is actually looking really good. Now most of the gems here are actually solid and I cannot wait to transfer those into those. That would be that would be absolutely amazing. And you know what? I think I think this thing, this little island has really come together. It's a little bit little bit plain on the back, all right? Let's not let's not focus on the back, but it's really come together. These markers for the plot needs to be taken down though. There we go. And some of the dirt here on the back looked a little bit unnatural. So changing that up for sand is probably a good idea as well. And there we have it. Iskal's Treasure Island. So let's let the hermit know that we're open. Iskal's Treasure Island now open. See, Exuma is already going. Ooh, what's this? Well... Uh, you'll have to you'll have to find out. I guess I should tell him an island in the shopping district You can't miss it. I don't know if it's just me, but I have a feeling Keralis may really like this place Oh, Exuma was hoping that it was a treasure hunt. I mean in a sense I guess you can I guess you can call it. I guess you can call it a treasure hunt in a sense You're hunting for good treasure gems now, since we're in the shopping district, I do want to have a quick look at the standings of the head game. Now, granted, I haven't really been submitting heads. I did a few PvP heads, and I was proud of those, but I haven't really, haven't really kept track. 2,372 points? What in the world? Second place, 2,290. Score and Groon. Team B. Oh, people are teaming up. That's a ridiculous amount of points. Look at me. I'm... I'm um, well, I'm beating you, Joe. I'm beating you, Joe. I'm beating you. I'm not last, okay? That's that's important. It would have been nice, but I think, I think I'm probably officially, <laughs> officially defeated, to be honest. And I really do hope that the hermits enjoy the treasure island. And I've learned something today, and that is that this keyboard is not just super noisy. It's also a bit unresponsive. The amount of times during this episode where I have like double clicked or fall down like a ledge when I've been shifting because the shift key doesn't work. 
Uh, it's been it's it's been a little bit of a nightmare to be honest. I really do hope that my new keyboard comes tomorrow because I miss my old one. Now that sounded really weird. What I mean is, I've ordered a new keyboard of the same make as my old keyboard. So when I get my new keyboard, it's kind of like having my old keyboard back, sort of sort of thing, I guess. Anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Ooh, wait a minute, what is this? How did I miss this before? Free samples. Please accept these free samples courtesy of Impulse Emerald. Ooh. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. A totem of undying. That's actually super useful because when I was building this, I kept wondering what would happen if I would fall down. Yeah, I would have died. I, I would have I would have died this despite feather falling for <laughs> Well now, well now I know. Anyway, I really do hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit the like button down, down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribe. Subscribe. Wow, I can't. You know what? I can't talk and I can't move properly. Consider subscribing is what I meant to say. I am going to continue to add some leaves to this. And maybe next episode we'll, we'll come back and, and I'll have some more done. Or maybe not, who knows, we'll see. I, I definitely I need to farm some more wood though. Yep, that's what I need to do. Still haven't heard back from Ren on that delivery. Oh man, I've completely messed up the outro now, haven't I? Anyway, I guess I'll see you dudes in the next episode.